Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. Teaching platform, this is Mr. Mlonga, aka the teacher. My pupils calls me the teacher. We are here to do mathematics indeed. Be ready for the lesson that is coming forth. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. We'll be posting videos every day. The task on the solving board is to simplify or to express a 3 over x plus 1 minus 4 over x minus 2 as a simple fraction, a simple single fraction in its simplest form or in its lowest form. What you do first of all, this is subtraction of fractions. We always find the lowest common denominator. So in this case, how do we find the lowest common denominator? We actually multiply these two. We say over, that will be now x plus 1, then x minus 2, like that. We multiply these two. Then the next step, cross multiply. Okay? Cross multiply. To cross multiply, you just have this 3, then multiply it by x minus 2, minus. This minus is the mathematical operation coming from there. Then you have this 4 multiplied to that. 4 x plus 1 like that after this point you have to open the brackets in the numerator 3 times x will give you 3 x 3 times negative 2 will give you negative 6 negative 4 times x will give you negative 4 x negative 4 times positive 1 will give you negative 4 then over x plus 1 then x minus 2 after doing that, collect the like terms here. You have a 3x minus 4x minus 6 minus 4 over x plus 1, then x minus 2, like that. 3x minus 4x is going to give you a negative x. Negative 6x, negative 4 will give you a negative 10 over, this will still be maintained as x plus 1 then uh, x minus 2 like that at this point you cannot move any further there's nothing to divide through because there are no common factors however maybe you can factorize in the numerator there you say minus is outside minus will be outside meaning this remains x then plus 10 then over x plus 1 then x minus 2 like that this is the final answer at this point you have simplified this it is now a single simple fraction single simple fraction b 2 over 2x minus 5 then minus 4 over x minus 3 like that and we have to express this as a single simple fraction in its lowest term. Solution. This is actually subtraction of fractions. So what do you do? You first find the lowest common denominator. To find the lowest common denominator, you draw a straight line. Then you say to x minus 5, then x minus 2 like that minus 3 like that you just multiply the two like this in brackets after doing that cross multiply for your numerator so you have these two cross multiply it will multiply this x minus 3 then minus this minus is going to come from there then 4 will multiply this 4 that is 2 x minus 5 like this from there, open the brackets in the numerator. 2 times x will give you 2x. 2 times negative 3 will give you negative 6. Then negative 4 times 2x will give you negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 5 will give you positive 20. Then from there, you write the same denominator. You have a 2x minus 5 then x minus 3 like that from there you collect the like terms in the numerator you have a 2x minus 8x 
then minus 6 plus 20 like that over the same denominator 2x minus 5 then x minus 3 like that from there 2x minus 8x you're subtracting a big number from a small number so the answer will be a negative 6x negative 6 positive 10, 20 will give you a positive 14 like that then you have 2x minus 5 x minus 3 this is going to be equal to is there anything we can factorize here if we get a 2 outside are we going to cancel anything actually there will be nothing that is going to be cancelled so we can just rewrite it we just say 14 minus 6 over uh, over 2x minus 5 then x minus 3 like that so at this point there's x there at this point you have simplified in single format on the solving board we have to express 1 over x minus 4 minus 2 over x minus 3 so that has to be expressed as a simple single fraction in its simplest form so what you do first of all find the lowest common denominator solution we have to find the lowest common denominator how do we do that you draw a line like that which stands for division then you multiply the denominators in brackets like that x minus 4 then x minus 3 that is the, the the lowest common denominator we are going to use then from there you cross multiply if you have to cross multiply there it means you have this one it will multiply x minus 3 then minus this minus will multiply uh, this minus then this two will be there it will multiply the x minus 4 x minus 4 like that x minus 4 in brackets x minus 4 like that then open the brackets in the numerator you have 1 times x which will give you x 1 times negative 3 negative 3 negative 2 times x negative 2x negative 2 times negative 4 will give you positive 8 over that is x minus 4 we maintain it the way it is x minus 3 like that from there you consider the like terms x minus 2x will give you a negative x negative 3 plus 8 will give you a plus 5 like that okay so then from there what next the next step is actually going to be x minus 4 x minus 4 in the brackets like that then x minus 3 like this from there is there anything that is coming out to be a common factor nothing but it's better that we start with a positive here and we write it as 5 minus x over x minus 4 like that then x minus 3 like that this is the simplified way of this question that we have here on the board we have another question which is 2 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 3x plus 1 what to do first of all you actually find the lowest common denominator which will be a product of the two denominators so you open brackets you say 2x minus 1 which is coming from there then this also 3x plus 1 at this point cross multiply meaning it will be these two multiplying that so you have a 2 multiplying 3x plus 1 minus this one multiply this 1 times z 2x minus 1 like that from there open the brackets in the numerator you have 2 times 3x which will give you 6x 6x 2 times 1 will give you 1 will give you 2 rather not 1 will give you 2 negative 1 times 2x will give you negative 2 x negative 1 times negative 1 will give you positive 1 over uh, you still maintain the denominator 2x minus 1 3x plus 1 like that then from there 
6x minus 2x will actually give you 4x. 2 plus 1 will actually give you 3 over 2x, 2x minus 1, then 3x plus 1, like that. From here, we do not have any common factors that can be divided through or anything to factorize. So the answer remains at this point. We have another question on the solving board. 3 over 5x minus 2 minus 2 over x plus 3. What do you do first of all? You find the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator is going to be the product of these two. So you draw a line like that which stands for division. Then you say 5x minus 2, open brackets, x plus 3, close brackets. Then from there, you cross multiply these two. So you have 3 cross multiplied with x plus 3. There is a minus in the middle, so it has to come down here. Then 2 cross multiplied with that. 5x minus 2, like that. You close, the, you close the brackets. After that, open the brackets. 3 times x will give you 3x. So you have a 3x. Three, 3 times 3 will give you a 9. Negative 2 times 5x will give you a negative 10x. Negative 2 times negative 2 will give you a positive 4. Over... Um, you maintain the same, you have a 5x minus 2, then x plus 3, like that. 3x minus 10x will give you a negative 7x. 9 plus 4 will give you 13. Over the same 5x minus 2, then x plus 3, like that. From there, you cannot factorize anything and you cannot cancel anything. So just rewrite it by starting with a positive and 13 minus 7x over 5x minus 2, then x plus 3. This stands out to be our final answer. This marks the end of our lesson, please. If you have not subscribed, this is the time to do so because every day we'll be posting videos and it's important that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. Where you need to comment, you need to ask something, do not hesitate. We value your support, we value your contribution, be it positive or negative. Or come on, so and thank you very much for having watched the video. Please share the video with others. Let other lovers of mathematics enjoy the mathematics that we are doing on this platform. It's mathematics all the way until Jesus Christ comes. Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. We cannot be able to calculate or count the time without the use of mathematics. The calendar that we use is a product of mathematics. We only get to know that this is the year 2020 by the use of mathematics, by following the calendar mathematically. The population of any country is a product of mathematics. You only get to know that it takes nine months for a baby to be born through the use of mathematics. In the medical field, temperatures calculated using mathematics. In the business world, profit and loss is only appreciated by the use of mathematics. A bricklayer uses mathematics to calculate the number of bricks needed for that construction. A carpenter uses mathematics to calculate the gradient of the roof before the roof is put up. A policeman has to count the number of prisoners in that police cell through mathematics. A thief should be able to calculate the hypotenuse of that brick or before falling off that brick or. We all need mathematics. Mathematics runs the world.